Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about Smart Identification. This is an another feature used for object identification. Till now we have completed the description properties VRI and Ordinal Identifier. In this session we are going to see the Smart Identification. When we start executing the script, first it will try to identify the description properties that is mandatory and assistive property if we are unable to identify using mandatory or assistive property then the execution will get fail suppose if we found several objects with same properties and value then it will go to the next level of identification the second level is visual relation identifiers and this will be executed only if it is defined the vri is nothing but using the neighbor object it's try to identify the object even after using the vri if we are unable to identify the object then it will go to the next level that is smart identification the smart identification will be executed only if it is defined and enabled same like description property smart identification uses two types of properties first one is base filter properties and second one is optional filter properties under the tools go to the object identification here only we will define each object properties and values you will have a curious question how these values are defined you know very well each application is developed based on UI design standard and this object identification settings is also configured with the help of UI standards which is followed for development for smart identification enable smart identification just select this checkbox then the configuration button will be enabled click on this now smart identification properties configuration will be opened as I already said it has two properties one is base filter property another one is optional filter property the base filter property is the most fundamental property of a particular test object class that is these values cannot be changed without changing the essence of the original object for example, if the web link tags changed from A to a another value, you could no longer call it as same object. And the optional filter properties, these properties can help to identify the object of particular class. These properties are unlikely to change on a regular basis, but can be ignored if they are no longer applicable. Now, how this mechanism work? What it will do, it will forget all the learned test object description that is the properties and the values which is defined in the description property and VRI. Then it will create a new object candidate list containing the object that matches all the properties defined in the base filter properties. It means it will create a new candidate list the object whichever having the html tag it will have it in the candidate list with that it will try to identify the object suppose from the new candidate list if it is unable to identify the object with base filter properties then it will take the help of optional filter properties that is first it will try to identify html tag with text if it is unable to identify HTML tag with HTML ID, then HTML tag with class and it will happen till it identifies the unique object. If the object candidate list contains exact unique object, then the UFT concludes that the object is identified and perform the action. Okay, let's consider an another scenario if it is unable to identify the unique property even after using the smart identification then it will go to the next level the ordinal identifier by combined learned description and the ordinal identifier it tries to identify the unique property then also if it is unable to identify then uh, uft 
passes the run session and displays the error message saying that UFT can't identify the object. From this itself you can understand how important object identification mechanism in UFT. About 90% of our aim is to exactly find the object. Once we can able to find the object then performing the action is very easier. With this object identification setting box we can define the smart identification of each class. And one more setting under the setting for the run make sure disable smart identification during run section is not selected. If you want to use the smart identification this setting needs to be unchecked. Hope you got some idea about smart identification. That's the end of today's session. In case of any clarification please post your queries. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.